There's been much talk recently of the tough training awaiting Prince Harry when he joins the army later this year. But perhaps one of the most demanding courses in the world is that of the Royal Marines. They're on the lookout for new recruits now who are up to the job. We got them to put our hardy reporter, Jeff Moody, through his paces. Good effort, come on. Just a couple more, you can do it. It's Sunday morning in Chatham, and whilst most people are reading the papers in bed with a cup of tea, these lads are hard at it. They're training to be reservists for the Royal Marines, and their entrance test is this April. It's tough, it's uncompromising, and it's difficult to succeed. In fact, between 80 and 90 percent of volunteers don't make it to their Green Berets. The reservists are a vital part of the Royal Marines. More reservists from Chatham have served in Iraq than from any other UK reservist unit. But the Marines need more of them. If anything, the attitude has to be right, a good sense of humour, take the hardships on the chin and just crack on with it. Most reservists have day jobs in Civvy Street. By law, your boss has to let you go on operations for up to nine months. For some, this training is the culmination of a lifetime's ambition. My, my granddad was in the Royal Marines on both sides. It's sort of a, a Royal Marine family room. That's something I wanted to do for a long time. When I left university, uh, joined the Royal Marines as an officer. Didn't quite make it, so uh, this gives me a second chance. Today is all about testing the recruits in a number of different areas. First of all, their physical strength. They were doing, thank you. They were doing press ups and sit ups for most of the day. Balance is an important thing. They've got to have a certain level of agility teamwork as well that's always very important in something like this they've got to have a oh thanks a good sense of humor too they've got to get on with each other but most of all it's about conquering your fears it's about doing something that you never thought you'd find yourself doing jeff moody for meridian news the Kent unit of the Royal Marine Reserves have sent a greater proportion of men to the Iraq conflict than any other reserve unit in the country. With the reserves playing an ever more important role in Britain's military operations around the world, the unit is now desperate for new recruits. It takes 18 months of training to bring a recruit up to the standards needed before they can go for the commando test. The Marines require the highest fitness levels in the armed forces, whether a recruit is full-time or a reservist. Most Marine reservists are former regular soldiers, but anyone can attempt the course. We're looking for young, fit, motivated guys. So when I say anyone, there's a, there's a clear selection process for them to go through. Uh, but yes, we're, we're now looking for civilian recruits with no former uh, military experience. Twelve of the unit's current 20 men have served in Iraq. Their commanding officer normally works in IT. He's just returned from a five-month tour of duty around Basra. Uh, we have reservists at the moment serving with the regular Royal Marines. Um, we've, over the last four or five years, we've had all kinds of guys from Chatham serving in uh, Kosovo, Sierra Leone, Afghanistan, Iraq. And I have to say that the difference in stand between the two is uh, infinitesimally small. So why do these men want to risk being sent to a war zone? Uh, the skills, you don't get anywhere else and the respect, really. It's, you can't get it anywhere else, the respect you get once you're in the Marines. Well, you've got to be physical to want to do it and have an interest in pushing yourself and in challenging yourself. To the top, climb! And it certainly is a challenge. 80% of those who start fail to last the distance. But with the reserves being constantly called on to go on active duty, the need for quality recruits is more urgent than ever.